Thank you all so much for coming. This year, our theme is women, the next engine of growth. Women truly are the engines of growth. They are hardworking, they are committed. We know that when women earn money, they invest more in their families and their communities than men. Let's be bold for change and make the engine for growth for the future female. I came to the Women in Business Conference to be re-inspired about women in the workplace, women in business. For me it's very interesting that the conversation has shifted slightly to more men being involved in the conversation. I think we've gone as far as we can go now just with the female movement. Opening up the debate to men is absolutely critical. I don't want to hear terms like, you know, they are women's issues. There are no women's issues, there are just there are people challenges. It's just good to see uh, uh, women from different sectors, different backgrounds, uh, sharing their stories and, and helping inspire everyone else. I joined um, BCG after working 10 years in hospitals. I've had two babies. I was a single mum for a few years. And one of the things that I'm quite proud of is our, our flexible work policy. I wouldn't be where I am today if I hadn't had that. I would have quit. I had a session this morning about body language and I think that's extremely important. I'm still at the start of my career so I think actually projecting a certain image um, is imperative. Give me a little push on my shoulder there, just a little push, Ooh, yeah, I'm over. Push over, which is where the phrase comes from. What you're aiming for here is your feet to be a shoulder width apart. If you can expand, you will feel more calm and in control. And the same applies for the audience as well. There's always a lot of negative news around women in business, the fact that there's gender imbalances, that pay is unequal. But what I see from today is that there is so much opportunity and there's so much hope. To one day maybe be one of those women up there on the stage would be, for me, the dream. What I hope you take away from this is one, we still have a significant amount of progress to go in order to get to parity in the workforce that the prize is big and worth it, and frankly, that we need a little bit more urgency, a little bit more pressure, a little bit more impatience to be able to close the gap. It's been phenomenal to see so many women from different industries and for us to share um, tips for success as well as our struggles. If you work in a world that's very male dominated like I do, actually being female is a huge advantage because people remember who I am. You know, everyone else is called James. Um, what advice would you give my four-year-old daughter? I think I'd give them the same advice that I frequently give myself, which is to do things that scare you. Take credit for the work that you do. Tell people what your ambitions are uh, and speak up. Find what your superpowers are. Think about the, what the world needs and how you would apply your superpowers in the world to make a difference. I don't think there's ever been a better time to be a woman in business. And I hope that you leave today feeling convinced that you have an open door before you. Just barge through that door. Never ask for permission. Ask for forgiveness if you have to, but not permission. Thank you. For me, it's been inspiring, actually. Energizing. Inspirational. But very worthwhile. It's one of those days you go home at the end of the day feeling exhausted, but absolutely exhilarated. I'm really excited to be a woman in business.